Okay, welcome everybody. This is Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV, and we are replaying the 2019 Mets. The Mets record is nine and six. We are playing the Philadelphia Phillies. It's going to be Syndergaard versus Nola. The Phillies are five and nine. We're right about to get started. It's going to be Nimmo, the center fielder, leading off. Pete Alonso, the first baseman, batting second. Batting third is Robbie Cano, the second baseman. Cleanup is Michael Conforto in right field. Batting fifth is Wilson Ramos, the catcher. Jeff McNeil, the left fielder, batting sixth. Batting seventh is Ahmed Rosario, the shortstop. Batting eighth is J.D. Davis, the third baseman. And finally, it's Noah Syndergaard, Thor, batting ninth. So for the Phillies, it's going to be Noah. Uh, it's going to be uh, Aaron Nola on the mound. And uh, let's do this uh, the way you play uh, on base baseball. As you roll 2d6, let's find 2d6, the same color. You need them both to be the same color. And, um, ah, there it is. That's what I was looking for. There's one there. And these are two uh, double d6s, by the way. So uh, let's get started. Here it is. Here's the first roll of the game. It's uh, Nola versus... Brandon Nimmo, and that is going to be a, you read the lower number first, so that's going to be a 4-5. There's nothing on Nola's card, so a 4-5 is going to be a fly ball. And the home run in parentheses, um, I can't remember what that is. I can't remember if that's a righty or a lefty, and I think he told me that it's it's always against righties, I believe, because uh, Nimmo really struggled against lefties. So it's got to be against righties. So that's going to be a deep fly ball to right center field. And back goes the right fielder, Harper, to the track, to the wall, and it's out of here. Home run, Nimmo. Let's take a one nothing lead. All right, here's Pete Alonso. He hit a ton of home runs. And that's going to be a 12, and a 12 is going to be a ground ball. And who is that, two? That's where we got to roll the nine side of die. That's going to be to the second baseman. Hernandez, one away. Robbie Cano's up next, one of my favorite players. And that's a ground ball, chopped. To the shortstop. At shortstop is Gene Segura, and he throws out Cano, two down. And here is Michael Conforto with a 14, and that's going to be a line drive base hit. Throws a rope off the bat into center field. Herrera gets it in, and here's Wilson Ramos. Wilson Ramos with a 56. Oh, and I think uh, that was you – no, know, I, I made a mistake. I, I did not look at the pitcher card. And on that last one – no, it was a 14. A 14 is a single. Okay, so this is a 56. There's nothing on the eye, and it's a strikeout on the pitcher card. And that will retire the side. Mets pick up a run on a couple of hits, and we go to the bottom of the first. one nothing Mets. All right. It's going to be McCutcheon leading it off. Let's see, McCutcheon and Segura. Let's find him, Gene Segura. And then it's going to be Harper and Hoskins. Real Mudo, Herrera. Hernandez and Franco. All right, and it's going to be Noah Syndergaard for the Mets. Let's do this. Here's Andrew McCutcheon. Here's a pitch, and that is a 35. Noah Syndergaard is a blank, and that is a swing and a miss at a Syndergaard fastball. So McCutcheon goes down on strikes. Gene Segura is next. 
with a 56, a 56 is back-to-back Hayes. He goes down on strikes. That's two strikeouts for Noah Syndergaard. And here's Bryce Harper. It's a 46. 46 is a blank, and a 46 is a strikeout. So he strikes out the side. Noah Syndergaard looking awesome to start the game. We go to the top of the second. No runs, no hits in that bottom of the first. On base baseball, plays pretty simple, plays pretty straightforward. And that is a 23. 23 is a ground ball with a potential error. And we're going to see. And no, oh, and it's a ball right back to the pitcher. Nola handles it over to first, one down. So McNeil grounds out. And here's Ahmed Rosario with a 34. That's a blank. And that is a drive down the line. And that is going to roll to the wall. Rosario digging around first. And he's going to go ahead first, the tag, and he is safe with a double, a one-out double for Ahmed Rosario. J.D. Davis is next. Here's the pitch from Nola. That's a 14, and a 14 is a base hit, and there may be an error on this. Will we try to score Rosario? He's a 6, so 7, 8, 9, he's out with one out. We're going to hold up, hold him up. And there could be an error on this as well on the outfielder. And, oh, there may be an error that was to right field. So we're going to check the right fielder, Harper. Let's look at Harper's rating. Harper's rating. Harper's rating is a plus defensive rating, so it won't, it will not be an error. So it's going to be first and third, and here comes Noah Syndergaard. Pitcher hitting card for the Mets is pretty good. Here's the pitch from Nola. It feels halfway looking for that double play. That's a 14, and on a one, it's a hit by pitch. And it's going to be a base on balls. So that's going to load the bases. So Nola walks the pitcher, which I know something, it's something pitchers don't like to do. Bases are loaded. And here's Brandon Nimmo. That's a 25. Nola is a blank. And that is a fly ball plus a potential error. No error. And that is a fly ball to the left fielder. And not deep enough to allow Rosario to score. But here's Pete Alonso with the bases loaded and two outs in a one nothing game here at the top of the second. Can Pete Alonso drive in a couple of runs and come up clutch? We'll see. Here's a pitch. It's a 24. And 24 is going to be a swing and a miss. And he goes down on strikes. No runs. Two hits. Three left. We go to the bottom of the second. Reese Hoskins leading it off. And that's a 26 off of Syndergaard is a blank. And that's a fly ball. And that is to center field. Under it is Nimmo. One down. Next is Real Mudo. And that's a 3-4, three, 3-4. Four, three, four. Is going to be a deep drive off the bat of Real Muto, left field. Back goes McNeil to the track, to the wall, and that's out of here. Game is tied. JT Real Muto connects for a home run to tie the ball game. Got a hold of a Thor fastball and drove it over the left field fence. And uh, he had, uh, in 2019, he had 25 home runs. So here's Odubel Herrera. Here's a pitch from Thor, which is a 15. And that's a blank there. And that is a ground ball and through the right side for a single. So Herrera is with a one-out single on it first. Now he's a threat to steal, but he will not be stealing. All right, Hernandez. That's a 22. 
And that's going to be a drive over the center fielder's head. And uh, they're going to they're going to put the red light on on uh, on Herrera, and that's going to be a double, putting runners on second and third. So Hernandez doubles, and that puts Herrera on third. Hernandez is second. Here comes uh, Michael Franco. Here's a pitch from Noah Syndergaard. Infield's going to be in on this one. That's a 33. That's a blank, and a 33 is going to be a ground ball. Now, uh, with the infield in, how are we playing this? I don't have the rule for this. Um, do not have the rule for this. I, I do have the, the rule. I don't have the rule for this in my head. And I'm looking here to see if I have. Aha, uh -huh. okay, let's see. I'm advancing. I don't even know if this, this game has rules for infield in, to be honest with you. Extra bases, sacrifice, swinging, walks, hit by pitch, error checks. Runner advance. How many outs? Uh, one out. Well, this is what the way we're going to play it. Um, we're going to look at the speed of the runner. Runner is Herrera. I think he's a six of it. Wow, let's see what he is. You know, he's a five. So with one out, I can try to score. And on the infield in. Um, so a six, seven, eight, or nine. He's going to be out at the plate. Let's do it. And he is safe. So that's going to be a throw home, and it's going to be a fielder's choice. RBI drives in number six. It's going to be first and third, still only one out. So that was a ground ball to, to the shortstop, and he goes home with it. And the tag is late, so now up comes Nola. Runners on first and third. We're looking for the double play here. And that's going to be a 24. 24 is a... Ah, it's going to be a ground ball hit hard right at the third baseman. Davis goes to second for one. Back to first. Double play. Big turn. Five. Four, three, double play, and the Mets get out of the inning. Two runs score. The Phils take a two to one lead here in this game. And uh, two runs on three hits, and we go to the top of the third. Let my dog in real quick here. Top of the third inning. If they start fighting, I'm going to have to kick them out. If they start getting on my nerves. All right, let's continue the game. And it's a 15 here. Nola with the pitch. A 15 is a blank, and Cano is going to line it to right field for a single. Michael Conforto, and that's a 66, and that's going to be strike three on Conforto. He swings and misses at a high fastball. One down. Next is Wilson Ramos, and it's a 15, a blank there, and that is a ground ball and through in the center field, and Cano will stop at second, first and second. So Ramos is probably the slowest man in uh, in baseball on at first base. Here's McNeil. 
That's a 56 on, yeah, that's a swing and a miss. McNeil strikes out. And here's Ahmed Rosario, first and second. Here's the pitch. That's a 55, and a 55 is going to be a line drive and caught by the leaping first baseman. Reese Hoskins goes up for it and brings it down. No runs, two hits. They leave a couple, and we go to the bottom of the third on base baseball. So take a look at it. Tell me what you think. Andrew McCutcheon, longtime Pittsburgh Pirate. And that is a 46. Syndergaard is a blank, so we're going to look at 46. And that is a strikeout. McCutcheon swings and misses. Strikes out for the second time today. Here's Gene Segura with a 45. And a 45 is going to be a fly ball. Lifted to center field. Nimmo right there. Two down, and here's Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper struck out in the first inning. That's a 56, and he strikes out here again. So Syndergaard has five strikeouts today. Three up, three down for Syndergaard in that inning. We're at the top of the fourth. It's going to be J.D. Davis leading it off against Aaron Nola. And a 56, and that is a swing and a miss. Chases a pitch outside the zone. Goes down on strikes, heads back to the bench. And next is the pitcher, Syndergaard, 24, and that is a back-to-back -back case for Nola. Okay. All right, tune up my box. All right, and here is Brandon Nimmo with a 13, and that is going to be a ground ball. Chopped to right in front of the home plate and Real Muto jumps on it, throws the first in time to retire the side. No runs, no hits, three up, three down. We go to bottom of the fourth. In the fourth inning, it's going to be Hoskins, Real Muto, and Herrera against Noah Syndergaard. And there's a pitch. And that's a 26. And 26 is going to be a fly ball. Lifted to center field. Nimmo's there. Puts it away. All right. And that is a 1-5. Real Muto with a little flare that's going to drop in for a base hit. He's two for two on the day. He's on it first. And his speed is almost a six. He's still got nine stolen bases. Gonna try to there goes Real Mudo and oh we rolled the wrong one and he is safe. Steals second base. So Real Mudo's on his second. And here's Herrera. Herrera with a 36. It's a blank there. 36 is a fly ball to left field. Left fielder McNeil. Hauls it in, two outs, and here's Cesar Hernandez. He doubled. And it's going to be a 44. That's a blank on Syndergaard. And here it's going to be a base hit. And we're going to try to score Real Mudo. And he is safe at the plate. And Hernandez, with two outs, we're going to send him to second base on the throw home. So that's an RBI single. And he drives in number five there. So runner on second base, here's Michael Franco. Here's a pitch. And that is a 1-3 blank there, and that's grounded. In front of the plate again, let's see if the pitcher gets it. No, it's the catcher for the second time, which that's unusual. Very hard for that to happen. But he does get to the ball and throws it out. Franco to retire the side. The Phils come up with another run. And they lead on a couple of hits. And they lead it by a score of 3-1. to one. We're at the top of the fifth. At the top of the fifth, it's going to be Alonzo. 
Alonzo Cano and Conforto. Here's a pitch. That's a snake eyes, and a snake eyes on Nola is going to be a strikeout. So Pete Alonzo chases ball out of the strike zone. Not something that's unusual. 46 and a 46 is going to be back to back case. And Cano swings and misses at a Nola slider. And here's Conforto with a 24, and a 24 is going to be. He strikes out the side, Aaron Nola. Brings it in the top of the fifth inning. Gets all three Mets on K's. And we go to the bottom of the fifth. All right. So it's the pitcher, Nola. Pitch from Thor, 36. And 36 is going to be a fly ball potential error. No error there. And that's a fly to center field. Nimmo over. Makes the catch. Here's McCutcheon who struck out twice. And he may make it a third time, and he does. Three Ks for Andrew McCutcheon. And Gene Segura is 0 for 2 today, a 34. It's a blank there, and that's going to be against a righty. That's going to be, I believe it's a deep drive off the bat of Segura to left center field. Back goes McNeil, and that's out of here. 4 to 1, home run, solo shot by Gene Segura. Bryce Harper's up now with two out. Nobody on. That's a 23, and a 23 will be a ground ball. Maybe an error. No error. It's right back to the pitcher. Oop. And that will retire the side. Let me get rid of that if I can find my white out. Playing on base baseball plays very, very quickly, very straightforward. Everything's off the cards, no charts necessary. All right, I got to get rid of my dog. He's ripping out my garbage. Hi, right, buddy. How you doing, buddy? Huh? You're not doing that, okay? You're not doing that. Dogs, Heckle and Jekyll. They want to be sleeping all day and then up all night. All right. Uh, we go to the top of the six. That's another run for the Phillies. They lead it now four to one. It's the top of the sixth. It's going to be Wilson Ramos leading it off against Aaron Nola. Nola can go 26, and he's got 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Here's a pitch, and that's a 46, and that's a blank there, and it's going to be a strikeout. So Nola struck out four in a row. Here's McNeil. That's a 56, and a 56 off Nola's card is a strikeout. So that's five in a row he struck out. And here is Rosario with a 45, and that is going to be off Rosario's card as a fly ball. Sky to right field. Right fielder Harper settles under it and makes the catch. And we go to the bottom of the sixth. It's a four to one Phillies lead. We're going to see Hoskins, Real Mudo, and Herrera. Real Mudo's two for two. And then uh, Hoskins is 0 for two. Hold on a second.
right, the game continues. Try to relax my dogs who are going nuts. See if that'll work a little bit. I doubt it. Um, all right, let's do this. Here's the pitch from Syndergaard. Syndergaard also has a stamina rating. Uh, where is 26. All right, that's a 46. Nothing on Syndergaard. And a 46 is going to be a strikeout. So Syndergaard struck out three, four, five, six, seven so far. Nola struck out one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wow. All right, and here's Real Muto. He's two for two. That's a 34, and that's going to be a deep drive to left center field. Back goes McNeil, and that ball's out of here. The second home run of the day for Real Muto. JT connects again. That's a solo shot. Makes the score five to one now. You're in the bottom of the sixth. And here's Herrera, 55. And a 55 is going to be lined and caught by the shortstop, L6. And here's a pitch, it's a 23 from Syndergaard which is a blank, and it's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop, Ahmed Rosario, and throws out Hernandez to retire the side, but the Phils make it 5-1 to one on a home run, the second home run of the day by Real Muto. All right. It's going to be JT, J, J.D. Davis, the pitcher, so we're going to see a pinch hitter. Here's Aaron Nola with the pitch, and that is a 14. And a 14 is going to be a base hit. So Davis is on. We're going to get a pinch hitter. It's going to be Smith. Dominic Smith. So the Mets can get something going. They're down 5-1. to one. See uh, Gazelman come in to pit to uh, pitch. All right, here's a pitch to Dominic Smith. And 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. That was 26. So that's a 35. Nola has a blank there, and Dominic Smith. Swings and misses at a high fastball. He goes down on strikes. One out here in the top of the seventh. Five to one fills. Brandon Nimmo now. Use the pitch to Nimmo. That's a 22. And off Nola, that's going to be a drive. And that's going to put one hop off the wall. Going into third base and Nimmo into second base with a one out double here in the top of the seventh. And that's going to put runners on second and third for Pete Alonso. And Nola is already tired. He's got 27. Gave up a hit. So we're going to pull him. And let's, uh, let's see. Let's see who we're going to bring in from the bullpen. Nola has to pitch at least one pitch here to get this going. All right, I'm going to look at the bullpen very quickly and see who we have available. All right, uh, it's going to be Pavetta or Alvarez. Pavetta or Alvarez. I have both those guys. You get 30 players with this set, and you can get a set for free as he's trying to basically um, you know, get his game out there so guys can try it out. And, Doing a lot of promotion for the game, which is a nice thing. It's a pretty straightforward game. There's there's no real twists and turns. There's there's nothing up the sleeve, if you will. You got to know baseball a little bit to uh, to play it, because there's not a lot of rules. You know, it's it's 
So you got to know enough baseball to kind of answer, you know, your own questions. Have to know other games and so on. So that's the tricky thing about it. So. All right. Uh, it's going to be who do we have coming up? we got a righty and two lefties. So we're going to bring in Pavetta to face Alonzo. And then uh, we may bring in Alvarez to bring in the other two lefties. So let's do this. Here's the pitch. It's a 35 off of Pavetta's a blank. And a 35 is going to be either a base on balls or a hit by pitch if I roll a one. So let's roll and see, and it's a four, so that's going to be a base on ball loading the bases. And let's write in Pavetta, uh, Pavetta. and he comes in, two T's in that name, and now he's out. So that was 6.1 for Nola, and now we're going to get Alvarez. All right, so Alvarez is in there versus... Bases are loaded for the Mets, so the tying run is at the plate in Robbie Cano. Here's a pitch to Robbie. That is a 34, and off Alvarez is a blank, and a 34 is a deep drive, and that's going to be one hop off the wall. Into score is Davis, followed by Nimmo, stopping at third base is Alonzo, and that's a two-run double for Robbie Cano. Drives in number eight and number one, so he picks up a couple RBIs. Again, he's one of my favorite players, so whenever he does something in these games, I always enjoy it. So second and third now. And here's Michael Conforto. Pitch from Alvarez. So it's a 5-3 to three ball game here in the top of the seventh. And the tying run is at second base. Here's the pitch. The infield is back looking for one. They're willing to give up uh, trade eight and out for a run. That's a ground ball, and that will be the shortstop. Run will score on that. RBI for Conforto, two outs. It's a five to four ball game now, and it's Wilson Ramos. Here's a pitch, and that's a 35. Uh, Alvarez is a blank, and a 35 is strike three, and he gets him. So Alvarez comes in big, although he did give up that two-run double, but then he gets two outs to get out of the inning. The Phillies still lead at 5-4. to four. That was three runs on three hits. And we go to the bottom of the seventh. All right, we're going to get, um, of course, a new pitcher for the Mets, and it's going to be Robert Gazelman. It's Michael Franco. Syndergaard went uh, six innings. Struggled, gave up five runs. Three home runs, uh, three or two, three home runs. How many walks? I uh, gave up no walks. And seven strikeouts. All right, so here's a pitch to Franco. That's a 45, and a 45 is going to be a fly ball. Center field, Nimmo. And we're going to see a pinch hitter here for the fills. And who could that be? And then we're going to bring in Morgan or Dominguez. Let's see if we have those guys. Got to look for all their relief pitchers. Here's another relief pitcher, Irvin. Is Irving around? No. Not around yet. Irving's not around. I'm trying to play actual lineups as close as I can, just to kind of recreate the games as if I were there. So, Narice, he's the, our closer. Morgan and Suarez, both lefties. Morgan's around. So we're going to need, we're going to need Garcia. Is Garcia around? Garcia's not around, so 
So we're going to let Morgan go in inning, and then we'll close it with the with the closer. All right, pinch hitter wise, let's see what we got going. Uh, and then it's a K. All right, and then some regards in the strike gap. Let's see who we can bring in as a pinch hitter. We got Knapp, Williams, Altair, and Scott Kingery. So let's, we only got four guys on the bench. Let's look for Kingery. He's going to pinch hit. And he pinch hits in the bottom of the seventh. I write that in. All right, so it's going to be Kingery versus Gazelman. Here's a pitch, and that is a, one, a 16. It's going to be a blank there, and that's going to be a fly ball. Lifted to, uh, let's see, it's two, three, four, six, center field, Nimmo, under it. And here's McCutcheon, who is over three with three strikeouts. Pitch from Gazelman is a 56, and that's a strikeout. So, the golden sombrero for McCutcheon. All right, in the top of the inning, it's going to be, who do we say was coming in? Morgan, I believe, Adam Morgan. To pitch to McNeil, Rosario, and J.D. Davis. Here's the pitch. And that is a 55. That will be a line out to first base, L3. Hit right on the nose, but right at the first baseman, Hoskins. Here's Rosario with a 45, and a 45 is going to be lifted to center field. Odubel Herrera is out there, makes a catch, and here's J.D. Davis. That's a 15, and that's going to be a ground ball. Right at the pitcher to retire the side. So no runs, no hits. We go to the bottom of the eighth. It's five to four, Phillies. And uh, we're going to have a new pitcher for the Mets. It's going to be Familia. Segura, Harper, and Hoskins. So Familia is going to... Take his warm-up throws. We're trying to find him in the set of there he is. So Familia is in. Gazelman went one inning. And here is Segura. Pitch from Familia. That's a 1-5, and that's going to be a fly ball. Left field. Over is McNeil. Makes the catch. Bryce Harper's next. And that's a 56. Familia, and that's going to be a strikeout. So third strikeout for Harper today. And here's Reese Hoskins. Pitch from Familia. 46 is going to be a line drive, base hit, center field. Played on a hop by Nimmo. Gets it into Cano. And here is Real Muto, who's three for three with two home runs, two RBIs, a stolen base. He's done it all today and three runs scored. JT against Jerry, Jerry Familia. Here's a pitch. And that's a 26. And a 26 is going to be a hard hit. Ground ball to the shortstop. Rosario flips to second to retire the side. No runs, one hit. Last licks for the Mets. And here is Norris. He is the closer for the Phillies, Hector Neris. He will be facing pinch hitter. So let's write him in. I got him in already. Uh, Morgan went an inning. And Alvarez went two-thirds of an inning. So... Here come the Mets. 
We're going to see a pinch hitter to start the inning. And pinch hitter. Let's see who the Mets have to pinch hit. Let's check this out real quick. And Ligaris, or you know what? We can bring in Keon Broxton, who's going to pinch hit. And here's the pitch from Norris. That is a 25. That's a blank. And a 25 is going to be a fly ball, center field. Over Zerrera makes the catch. One down. That's right in Broxton there real quick. Yeah, the top of the order coming up. Ran the Nimmo with one out. Pitch from Norris. That's a 23. 23 is a blank on Norris. It's going to be a ground ball. Could be an error. Let's see. No, no error. It's a ground ball to the first baseman, Hoskins, who steps on the bag ahead of Nimmo. And here's Pete Alonzo. Two outs. Mets are down to the last out. And a 14 is going to be line base hit, left center field. So it's a two-out single. And that's the tying run. The winning run is in Cano, Robbie Cano. So Norris checks Real Muto for the sign, goes to the belt. And here's the pitch. That is a 36. That's a blank on Norris's car. But it's a fly ball. And that's going to be right field. And that will be the ball game. No runs. One hit. One left. And the final score is the Phillies four, the Mets five. On base baseball, Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV. Thanks for watching.